Well, blockchain is the underlying technology of digital currencies like Bitcoin. It turns out that this is the biggest innovation in computer science in a generation, and it's much bigger than Bitcoin. Essentially, it's the second era of the internet. So the way that we handle this in our economy is through big intermediaries like banks, governments, credit card companies, social media companies, and they, they enable us to trust each other to do business. And it enables anything of value from money to votes to music to be stored, transacted, secured, recorded in a secure and in a private way. And this is very, very revolutionary because now for the first time in human history, people can trust each other without a big, powerful intermediary in the middle. Now that doesn't mean that banks and governments and social media companies will disappear. Of course not. It means that they now have a new platform to revolutionize the way that they do their business. And Taiwan has another opportunity for the next few decades to succeed in this new environment. And you've got many of the preconditions to build a global hub here. Not just a global blockchain sector or a global sector for transformation of banks. This is called FinTech, which is also enabled by blockchain. But this is not just a sector, it's the basis of all sectors. In Taiwan, it will affect the way that you manufacture things. It'll affect the supply chain. It'll affect media companies and retail com companies and governments and every part of the economy. So there's a big opportunity to build a more robust economy. There's also a big opportunity to transform the operations of government to make them lower cost and more effective. And as well, the central bank, uh, banks in, in uh, in Taiwan can use this technology to change the way that we manage the money supply, the way that we manage inflation, and overall to make some positive and important uh, improvements real time to the way that the economy works. So overall, I'm pretty optimistic, but the future, it's not something for me to predict. It's something for you to achieve.